coenzyme Q10, NAR-alpha lipoic acid, ashwagandha extract, astragalus root, milk thistle extract, restorative support complex, bioperine, astapure, quercetin, glycocarn, agmapure, L-carnitine fumarate, hormone amplifying blend. Let me show you. This is a list right here of 32 ingredients that one of these testosterone supplements has used in the past. Now today's video is going to be about the safety of the testosterone booster supplements that are available on the market, especially on amazon.com. Now, when I looked at the papers regarding testosterone supplements, I was quite surprised because, you know, I wouldn't have thought that there would be a way for scientists and, and doctors and, and experimental clinicians to actually go out there in the market and figure out what is the authenticity of the supplement market. Because mostly the money that is spent on research is to develop more pharmaceutical drugs. So when we look at sex supplements, you look at things like Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, and many others that are available, which obviously have a lot of side effects. Now this one right here is not Viagra, but it has 32 different chemicals that are put in one. And the reason they published this ingredient list on one of the papers I read is because in Saudi Arabia, uh, one of the athletes, one of the, not a famous athlete, but a good sort of um, professional athlete went to the ER in Saudi Arabia. And the doctor looked at him and said, what's the problem? So there was abdominal pain, very, very excruciating abdominal pain. So he had to go to the ER. They took him in, they did lab tests on him. And they questioned him, hey, what did you do differently? Why do you think you're having abdominal pain? And one of the things he mentioned prominently is this testosterone booster supplement that he went on. And when they did the test on him, they found out that there was an increase in different hepatic enzymes. These are enzymes in the liver. Now, you know from previous videos that I've recorded from the workshops that the liver is one of the organs of the body that produces enzymes to break down molecules in the digestive system. When you watch my Afro D video, when in, the, in the four herbs I take every day, and then there's other videos I've made recently which discuss the digestive system. And you might even get emails from me that talk about the safety of supplements in terms of what the hell is happening when you ingest food or ingest an herb, what is happening in your body. So when that athlete took this testosterone booster supplement, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's like an entire 32 ingredient stack. He had an increase in ALT, gamma, uh, gamma glutinyl transferase, and ASTG. These are liver enzymes that are secreted to break down certain things that we ingest. Now, the numbers for this were drastically significantly higher that's why they were flagged in the blood test right obviously that's why it's important to get blood tests done and what they found is these types of harmful effects what they find when they do toxicology experiments can happen through testosterone booster supplements like this one now why am i making this video so it's gonna be, are testosterone supplements safe? We've received questions from you guys. You know, we do this Google form where you write down all your questions and every Tuesday, just like today, I uh, post a video here on the Testosterone Transformation Facebook group. And if you have any more questions, you can definitely post in the comments below and I'll answer them in the weeks to come. A lot of people are wondering about testosterone supplements. We get 
a lot of posts, and not just testosterone supplements, but supplements in general. We get a lot of posts on the Afro-D Academy page. We get a lot of posts here about you know, vitamin D and what testosterone booster supplements should I take besides Afro-D. Or people aren't aware of Afro-D, so they just ask a general question. Or they, they talk about ZMA or other supplements that are good for balancing their body's nutritional uh, deficiencies. Right, so zinc, magnesium, and vitamin D, these are the three main deficiencies, and guys always ask about what supplement to take. There was a recent post on whey protein isolate, right, so there's whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, 100% grass-fed, grass-finished. There's all these different supplements that guys take all over the world. I mean, this is a $36 billion industry just in the US alone, and it's growing. So, that's why it is so important to educate you on the safety of testosterone supplements. Now, the important thing about this video is that you're not only going to learn about the safety associated with testosterone booster supplements specifically, but I will educate you on how to determine if anything is safe, how to determine whether you should trust a company, how to determine whether the marketing and the reviews that you read on Amazon.com and the authenticity associated with it, the, how much of credibility can you put in a company? And this is gonna help you a lot just for life as you move forward in your um, career and your you know, just life generally day to day. Now, there's a lot of papers about this subject. What I did was I looked at the papers we talked about testosterone booster supplements specifically, and I also looked at why this subject is so important, right? Why safety is so important? Why do we need to take care of our body? Why is it that harmful substances are bought in the world? Like, what is wrong with us that we buy these things? And remember, I'm not immune to stupidity either. In the past, when I was doing self-experimentation on myself to learn about how to boost testosterone naturally, I tried a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff didn't work, and I'm glad that none of it really harmed me dramatically, but it could have. And I know stories from my own friends, from my own colleagues, like for example, one of my friends from Brooklyn, Logan, he was 19 when he was drinking a gallon of milk every single day for 30 days, because some cocksucker on YouTube told him that if you drink a gallon of milk every day for months, then you will gain mass you will gain testosterone, you will have, you know, you will look bigger and you will be more attractive. And this guy, Logan, my friend, as a teenager, he did this, he grew acne, pimples all over his face, he had a rash at different parts of his body, his hormones were completely disbalanced. And so this kind of stuff happens all the time nowadays, because we go to the internet as a source of truth, as a source of, you know, this godly thing that just speaks, the, the, it's like a messiah for us now. And, and, and I'm going to get into all the different psychological reasons why pharmaceutical companies and supplement companies use predatory tactics to gain your trust and do the right marketing, even though their products are fake. And what they do to the reviews and how all of that enables them to sell you supplements that are not safe. Okay, so that's what this video is going to be about. Very, very important video. Take notes and remember all this for all future purchases. Now, let me tell you what the agenda is for today. I'm going to start with an intro, talk about a little bit about trust and marketing. Then we're going to get into transparency. Okay, how to know whether a company is transparent when they sell you these supplements and that's how you're going to know if they're safe or not. Then we're going to get into this filtration process where you can determine through this website, reviewmeta.com, if you buy something on amazon.com, you can use this website to determine which reviews are fake and which reviews are real. Because if you can see a company's doing mostly fake reviews, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how 90% of some reviews are fake, and they get filtered out from this algorithm that Amazon has created. It's a proprietary software. So, ReviewMeta.com is a proprietary software that Amazon is using. They have about a dozen or so different filters put into one. So they looked 
to see if the purchases are verified, if there's redundant sentences in the reviews, which tells them that this is fake because it's like it's computer generated. Uh, they look at you know fake reviews. They look at paid reviews. They just do all this very interesting algorithmic processing to determine which reviews are fake. And, and most, if you look, these percentages tell you the percentage that are fake and, and how it, it reduces in terms of how, how many reviews are actually filtered from this, filtered out from this, um, from this website. So we're gonna talk about that. Then I'm gonna say, what do you look for when you buy a supplement? How do you know to make sure something is safe? What do you look for in the quality? What do you look for in the sourcing, the harvesting, the farming, the manufacturing, the distribution, the testing after, the, the water they use to clean it, the soil they used for the nutrition to farm the actual herb? What do you look for to make sure it's safe? And then I'm gonna show you how things are not safe if they're not cooked properly. Then we get into the actual harmful effects, the accidental poisoning that can happen, how steroids are sometimes put in supplements by purpose, on purpose, to give you an, a banned illegal substance. So you think it's natural, but it's not. So that too. And I'm gonna show you some of the tests that companies can do to make sure uh, that their supplements are safe. And these are all tests that we do for Afro-D. So I know how to keep things safe. Then we get into, uh, oh, then I'm gonna read out the rest of these ingredients, the 32 ingredients on here. Then I'm gonna talk about some balance of hormones and, and, and how uh, different, using different ingredients in an herbal supplement can allow you to have a balance, unlike what these guys did. And then we're gonna take, do some takeaways and uh, some logistical information at the very end. Um, I also have another graph, a graph here that I'm gonna show you um, a little bit into this um, um, as I discuss this. Yeah, talk about this graph as well. Okay, all right guys, um, super important video as I pointed out. As you know, I'm Doc Farhan. I'm making these videos every Tuesday. It is a general video for you. Um, this, this video is actually for uh, um, this video is actually going to be for Friday. Today is, should be a Friday. We're trying to keep things very consistent where Tuesday we give you a video that is um, a very specific topic for you guys, Testosterone Transformation Group. Uh, Thursdays we're giving you a one-on-one -on -one with Doc Farhan and then Fridays we're giving you a general video to educate you on um, just some general topics that you really, really, really need to know for your life not necessarily for testosterone, but for life. So this is a very, very important topic. Okay, let's start with this Amazon study first. So what they did was they looked at the top five testosterone booster supplements on amazon.com, the top five sold. The average number of reviews was 3,600 per testosterone booster supplement in, um, in amazon.com. And the average was a 4.6 out of five for these Amazon reviews. They're like, okay. So they look at these top five supplements and they take the top 10 ingredients of these supplements and they see, well, how many human studies have been done on this supplement? That's how you know if something is safe, right? When you look at a testosterone booster supplement, and you look at the main ingredient, and if it, there is no human clinical trials, then don't buy it. You cannot trust animal studies. If this thing works on rats, how do they know what dosage, what concentration, how to do the extraction process, how to do the farming for humans? How do they know what is going to be processed by the human liver? How do they know what is going to be processed and how it's going to be processed by the human digestive system, the human stomach, the human small intestine, the human large intestine? They don't know. They're using rats and monkeys and cats and mice with most herbal supplements. So what they found is that 19% of those papers from those top 10 ingredients that were used, only 19% were human studies. The other 81% were either reviews, in vitro animal studies, or animal in vivo studies, which are live animal studies. 
but only 19% human, less than 20%. So this is something to keep in mind also, okay? So if you are taking a testosterone supplement or any supplement for that matter, and the ingredients and the supplement itself hasn't been tested on humans, don't do it. It's not safe. And it's because there is no guarantee that it's going to work. And there is no guarantee that it's safe. So what did they do? They wanted to see whether the reviews were fake or real. So this shows what percentage of the review number, the number of reviews decreased when they talked about a specific benefit of the testosterone booster supplement. And these are average numbers. So for example, with libido, 91% of the reviews which said, oh, my libido increased when I took this supplement, those were weeded out, deleted from this software because they were fake. 93% of the reviews from the, uh, that talked about strength being the benefit were gone. 89% of sports and ability, uh, athletic ability, and 60% of the papers that, 60% uh, of the reviews that said my erection quality increased through the supplement were fake. Unbelievable, okay? So use this website anytime you wanna assess a, any supplement that you buy from amazon.com. Now, what does this tell us? This tells us that a lot of cocksucker supplement companies use paid reviews. Now, how do they do that? Now, the reason I know this is because one of my business partners from the past, and I regret having this guy as my business partner. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, I'm an idiot. But I took him on, and this, this is the time, this is way before Afro-D, this is the dog testosterone times, and it's probably why our brand wasn't very authentic at the time, we didn't have Imran. This guy, my business partner, graduated in a, from a finance degree, came to Dr. Testosterone, and he started, and how, how did I know about this paid review stuff and how did I figure this out? So this guy, he was a real estate broker. He's like, fuck this, I wanna start my own business. Now what did he do? He would hire a bunch of guys from Fiverr.com to write Kindle books from him, for him. And these books would be about weird topics, like how to kiss a girl on a first date. Not a weird topic, meaning like, how do you write a book about that, right? Um, how do you kiss a girl, generally? Uh, do you pay for a girl on the first date? Um, what should you cook on a first date? Um, how to invest in real estate, right? Uh, what book to read if you want to learn about finance, right? All these weird books he wanted to write. And the thing is, he didn't write these books himself. He hired people on Fiverr.com to write the books for him. And he wrote like 300 books, just like this. And he would sell each book for like two, three dollars. And then he would pay people on Fiverr to review these books and give it five out of five stars. Right, so these people on Fiverr would be paid by this guy to go on Amazon.com, which is what Kindle is, it's an Amazon product, and they would do a verified review because he would pay them to buy the book, like he would reimburse them to buy the book, uh, for buying the book. And through these reviews, his book sales went up and up and up because people thought that these reviews are legit. So people started trusting these reviews and these books sucked. But because people are so lazy, they didn't ask for a refund because it's like two, three dollar per book. So he took advantage of that. And about in a year and a half, he made like $120,000 US. Then he started teaching people how to do this. And I'm amazed that people do this type of fraud stuff. They are predatory and fake. So on Amazon.com, most reviews for testosterone booster supplements are fake. And this website, reviewmeta.com, will help you prove it. So go use it, okay? Now, then this paper looked at, okay, why are we so vulnerable, right? I mean, me included, I'm not immune to this stupidity. I'm, tell, I'm telling you right now, I've done, now I mentioned that earlier in this video, I've done a lot of mistakes in buying really stupid stuff from amazon.com. 
So what they mention, and this is a psychologist study uh, speaking, internet dependency. You might be one of these people. If you're dependent on the internet for knowledge and understanding and, and guidance, then you're gonna trust the reviews and you're gonna take the reviews word for it because you have no other way, you're dependent on it. The second reason, you have trust on the internet, like it's a credible source or Wikipedia is God for you. Lack of awareness of pharmaceutical companies. Now there's pharmaceutical companies out there which know about internet dependence and they know that you trust the internet. So what they're gonna do is put ads here and there very strategically on social media to get in your mind that you need to take pills, to get in your mind that you need to take antibiotics, to get in your mind that you need to take flu shots, to get in your mind that you need to take all these pills to be normal. And they're very smart at it. They're very predatory. They're predators and you're prey and I'm prey. Social isolation, this is a big one. When you're socially isolated, well, first of all, you're not gonna be as bright. You're not gonna be able to think as well. You're gonna be depressed. You're gonna have cortisol release. You're gonna be not, you're not gonna be able to think clearly. And when you add internet dependency and trust and lack of awareness of anything, and you're socially isolated, you're gonna go buy that unsafe stuff. Now, this background I'm giving you about trust and marketing, because I want you to really understand where we're coming from and where we're going. I want you to be super confident and motivated when you buy something. And I want you to be super confident and say fuck you when you don't want to buy something and be confident about it. Okay, next, transparency. Uh, this one right here, FDA and the 1994 law. Okay. In to be very, very honest with you, there is no supplement out there, including Afro-D, because I want to be very honest, that has FDA approval. We don't have FDA approval. And that's very clear. On, you know, we, we say it very clearly. Now, other cocksucker companies out there, because their supplements are not safe usually, they lie and they say, that their facility was in an FDA registered facility. Wrong. Fraud. No. There's a law passed in 1994. What is that? Uh, 25 years ago. Which says that the FDA is not allowed to regulate or say anything when a new supplement comes out. FDA is not allowed to comment on it. But if the supplement ends up killing somebody or ends up being toxic or ends up doing something very harmful to society, then the FDA can jump in. It's like you don't have to ask for permission, but you can seek forgiveness later. That's why everyone's running amok. That's why everyone's just popping up. Oh, look at this uh, formulation. This looks good. Let's make a pill out of that and sell it as a multivitamin. Oh, let's make a pill out of that and sell it as a testosterone booster. Oh, let's make a pill out of that and send it as a dick pill. Let's, uh, let's make a, a formula out of that and send it as something that's going to grow your hair back. This is happening all over the world. It's a $36 billion market just in America, this supplement market. So we don't have FDA approval, okay? And even though the FDA is not formally approving a supplement, that doesn't mean it has to be unsafe. As long as the quality control is done, as long as you have proof of human clinical trials of the main ingredient, especially the active main ingredient in that supplement, and as long as you know the entire supply chain of what that company is doing, from farming to distribution to packaging, to the test at the very end when they compare that final powder to the initial plant or tree or flower that it came from. Now, we at Afro-D, we do this. We do all of these tests and I'm gonna get into all of these tests soon and I made an entire video, the four herbs I take every day. If you wanna go into even more detail, you can go watch that video as well. All right, now third, 
What do you look for to make sure a supplement is safe? Oh, by the way, let me show you the graph for this. So you know when I, when I show you this? So here's a graph that I printed out for you guys. So I know it's hard for you to read, but the blue is what the uh, number of reviews was before the filtration process and the brown or the orange is after. So look, look, look at, look at this one and look at this one and look at this one. Most reviews get deleted because they're fake. So this software filters out most of the reviews because they are paid reviews. Unbelievable, man. Like, I mean, I'm so happy I ran into these papers. Anyway, so what do you look for? You have to find out where it was made. You need to know the facility in which it was made. Like for example, our Schizandra Berry, I wrote an email to you guys recently about the Massachusetts farm Shen Blossom in Deerfield, Massachusetts, where we get our Schizandra Berry from. It's the only organic farm in America. Okay? And it's a local farm for us. So just an example of you need to know where shit comes from. How is it farmed? Is the soil nutritional? Does this, is the soil organic? Who's behind it? Now with Afro-D, right? I'm, I'm sure you guys know what Afro-D looks like. With Afro-D, you know who's behind it. I'm behind it. You know how it was formulated. You know how long it took me to figure that out. You also know the organization behind it. You know how much we care about what we do here and, and our, our, our movement, our drive, our motivation to do all of this. You know this. You need to know the who. Why should you trust them? Like You need to know why you trust me. You're taking Afro-D because you trust me. You need to know why you trust other people for buying their shit. And you need to know at least who's the one selling it to you. S-I-T-G, SITG, skin in the game. SITG, SITG, skin in the game. The person who's selling you a supplement, is he taking it? Skin in the game is what it's called. That person needs to have skin in the game. That motherfucker YouTuber who told my friend Logan to do the gallon of milk every day, wasn't drinking a gallon of milk every day. He's a liar. Soil, you need to know about the soil of the farm. The extraction process. So for example, when we look at Hushu Wu, and I explained this entire thing in the, the four herbs I take every day video, go watch that video, it's fantastic. It tells you every nitty gritty thing about Afro D that you wanna know. So go watch it there, I'm not gonna repeat too many things. The extraction process. So you need to know how the actual herb was cooked whether it was raw, because if you eat Hushu Wu raw, it's gonna fucking damage your liver. That's why you see all these papers on PubMed which talk about Hushu Wu being damaging to the liver. And we get emails all the time. Oh my God, doc, the Hushu Wu and Afro D, is it gonna cause liver damage? No, because we cook that Hushu Wu multiple times for hours before we make it into a powder. For hours we cook it, multiple times each time. Okay, so that initial traditional process has to be there in every supplement you take and make sure you know the cooking process. Cleaning, what kind of water are they using? Is the water pure that they use to clean it? So for example, Schizandra Berry, we use water from a spring that's inside the farm. It's, it's a well, pure water well that you know just comes from the earth it's just fucking pure we do the testing on it to make sure the water is pure and we use that pure water to clean the berries so you need to know that very specifically and the six tests that we use so there's an analysis test at the very beginning then we do a verification test at the very end to make sure that the final powder is the same thing as the initial plant flower or or um, uh, tree that we used right then there is a PDE5 inhibitor, PDE5 inhibitor test to make sure a PDE5 inhibitor is not in there. So for example, Viagra has the PDE5 inhibitor sildenafil. Sildenafil is sometimes put into testosterone booster supplements. 
And that's going to make you dependent, right? Like Viagra does. And Viagra has six, seven other side effects. And that harm will happen if someone slip that sildenafil into your testosterone booster supplement. So we do that test to make sure that our final product does not have that in there. We make sure 100, and of course it doesn't, but just to make sure we do that test. What else do we do? We do a trace element test, which we test for 34 different metals to make sure that the optimal amount, which is very small amount, just like very, very small amount, and it's no more than that inside the final product. We make sure it doesn't pass that threshold. And when we do that with 34 different trace elements or metals. So these are tests that we're doing on every single ingredient of afro -D. You need to make sure that these six tests are done in the supplements that you, make, that you take, other than afro -D or any supplements you take in the future. You need to know that these processes are happening. And again, you want to know the details of these six tests? Watch the four herbs I take every day video. I highlighted it in there. I don't want to keep repeating myself because then guys who are watching every video get bored and I don't want that. I want the guys who are watching every video to have, you know, I want to support you. I want, to, I want you to benefit the most because you're taking the more, most action. Okay, now you know what to look for. Finally, harmful effects. So here I talk about the harmful effects. Let me talk about these things. Sometimes these supplement companies, when they get in trouble, they say, oh, we accidentally poisoned the person, right? So keep these lingos in mind. It's, man, this really, really horrible what happens. Okay, there, okay so there was a, one paper I did, read about tribulus, uh, um, tri so tribulus uh, terrestris is one of the top herbs that are known or believed to increase testosterone naturally, to boost testosterone naturally. In fact, or, or although, there are studies that show that tribulus terrestris actually decreases testosterone levels. So, uh-uh-uh, I actually had tribulus on my short list of what I was gonna use as the main component of afro -D, and I canceled it out when I read that paper. So not tribulus. Uh, so there was a study that showed in, in 2000, the, the, the time from 2005 to 2008, those four years before the Olympic Games in Beijing, the 2008 Olympic Games were in Beijing, and the Bulgarian weightlifting team were a really good bunch. Now they were gonna basically win the gold medal, they were champions. And there was an anti-doping uh, they got caught for doping. So there's an anti-doping campaign, that Olympics. Um, this is like, what's, I guess like 15 years ago, uh, 2008, eight, no, 11 years ago, 11 years ago, so recent. Um, these weightlifters in Bulgaria, they got banned from the Olympics. They were not allowed to participate in 2008 because they used this tribulus terrestris testosterone boosting supplement which contained a banned steroid. An illegal steroid was in there. So they got caught, and then the Australian um, uh, uh, athlete agency, there was another case that happened in Australia with Tribulus, and finally the Australian government said, we do not recommend taking Tribulus for anything. So they almost banned Tribulus from Australia. So that was also a big case. So, the reason I'm telling you this is that the governments of these different countries are also recognizing the harms of some of these testosterone boosting supplements that don't have quality control and they don't have human clinical trials to prove that they work. So that's something I want to tell you. Now, here is some more information about the harmful effects of certain testosterone supplements. So, uh, yeah, I told you about the steroid that happened with tribulus terrestris. So there's hepatic enzymes, which I mentioned in the very beginning of this video, to re-say it, ALT, AST, and then there's gamma glutinyl transferase. These are enzymes in the liver, where when they're high in your blood test, you know that your liver is failing. People who drink a lot of alcohol, this happens to them. These enzymes are high in them. So the guy 
that I showed you, you know, the 32 ingredients guy, right? these 32 ingredients that, that he used in the, in the testosterone booster supplements. He did two cycles and it was 22 days each. He took it for 44 days. Each of these three liver enzymes was very high in his liver. And that's how the doctor knew his liver is failing. Anyway, he recovered. They took him off of the supplements and he did recover. Thank God. Everything was okay. The thing with Hushu Wu, right? I don't know why I wrote that 13%. I think it was uh, probably not important. But what about Hushu Wu? Okay. I mentioned this already, but I'm going to just repeat myself so you understand and there's no confusion. Things like Hushu Wu that have been traditionally known in rats and other animal studies to cause liver damage must be cooked traditionally. We use black bean soup, like a stew, to actually cook that thing for hours and multiple times before it is uh, made into the powder format. You know, the extraction process is cooked very, very well. And again, the details are in the, in the four herbs I take every day video. So go look at that for Hushu Wu. And I want you to really, really pay attention to the cooking process of any supplement that you end up buying in the future. You need to know what the hell is happening when they extract the supplement. And I also challenge you to find any company out there, except for us, that actually share with you transparently how we manufacture the supplement. I challenge you. Accept my challenge. Post it on this group if you can find a company like us. Okay, so these are the six tests. Okay, now let me tell you certain things that I found from reading all these studies, which are common harmful effects of testosterone supplements that have been known and that have been proven. So one of them is, especially in teenagers who use testosterone boost su booster supplements, it can halt their bone growth. Because obviously you know that testosterone is known for bone density increase and, and bone growth in adolescents, in very young people, children that are growing up. And I mean, testosterone for men, it's important for everything. And for sure, it's important for bone. Now, if you take a testosterone booster supplement that is giving you testosterone in there, they slipped in an anabolic steroid, tried to trick you, then you will stop the normal production of testosterone because you're not on a cycle. You're not balancing it with taking things to increase or reset your natural production. No, because of a negative feedback loop of how testosterone works, right? So as you inject testosterone in your body, if you exogenous inject testosterone using replacement therapy, testosterone injection, testosterone gels, then the natural production will stop. It'll slow down. That's why guys who stop taking testosterone injections, they can't grow testosterone anymore. That's why you're stuck with it for life. And that's why in this group, anytime someone even mentions the word testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy, testosterone injections, we have Peter, our boy, right away say, yo, cocksucker, this group ain't for people who talk about injections and non-natural ways to increase testosterone, get the fuck out of here. Go to another group. I love Peter for doing that. Okay, blood viscosity. So the thickness of our blood has to be a certain homeostasis for us, for our physiology to be normal. Why? Well, the blood carries oxygen. The blood carries testosterone. I mean, the blood is everything for our body. So if the blood's viscosity, which is the thickness, increases, then imagine how much of a hard time it'll have going through arteries and veins, blood vessels. Simple as that. You want to increase blood flow to your arteries? You want to increase blood flow to your penis? You want your blood to be thicker? You tell me. So blood viscosity increases and that is not safe. That's harmful. And sleep disorders. Sleep disorders also happen. That's also another harmful effect of testosterone booster supplements that don't go through high uh, quality control and assessment of how they make the product and when we don't know if it actually works with human clinical trials. So that is essentially what I wanted to tell you in today's video. Okay, now the takeaways. 
Um, let me make sure I covered everything. Yeah, I think I covered everything here. I still don't know what the hell this 13% is. I'll talk about it in the next video. Okay, what's the takeaway? In order for you to determine if a testosterone supplement is safe, do your homework. I beg you. If you're taking whey protein, don't just take it because you see it on TV or you saw it on some sponsored ad on Facebook. Who's behind it? Call them. Find out what they're doing. Who are these people? The world is garbage, man. The world doesn't give a fuck about you or me. So they are going to trick us all the time. They're going to try to take our money. Get the reviews that are authentic. Don't fall for this trap. When someone is giving you a review, do you know this person? On Amazon.com, someone gives you a review. Do you know who that person is? Have you seen them take the product? Is there skin in the game? Do you know who's behind the product? Do you know if human clinical trials are done on it? Don't put stuff in your body that you know could be harmful to your body. Don't put that shit in there. And don't go for, go for the cheap stuff. You know, the, the cheap stuff is cheap for a reason. So smart, be smart about these things. This is your body, this is your health we're talking about. Now, uh, if you have any questions for future videos, you can comment below, post your comments below, I'll be happy to answer it. And anything at all that you wanna know about testosterone, I'm so happy to make videos for you, I'm so happy to do more research for you. If I don't even know what you asked, I'll go and do all the research to find out. I'll gather all the recent studies, everything I can to give you the best video possible. This is today's thing here, I'll, I'll leave a little bit so you can Take a look at the whole thing. Maybe you want to take a photo. I don't know. Something like that. And last but not least, I'm going to do a raw doc. Today is day 21. Let me turn on my camera here. I have the camera ready. Um, so I can take the video. Hey, Aphrodite Academy guys. I'm doing day 21. I'm recording a video for the testosterone transformation group here. And of course, you guys are on that too. Um, so this is for the Dirty 30 challenge. No weed, no drugs, no alcohol, no porn for 30 days, and a picture or a photo with Afro D every day. So today's day 21, nine more days until I can have drinks with a girl. Um, and, and we raw dog, which means you take it straight up. Oh, by the way, Afro D is a teaspoon in the morning, every day, once a day, no need to cycle because we have the cooling herb in there, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that to end the video. And you take it with an empty stomach. And that's what I'm doing right now. There it is, and it's called raw dogging. Mm. Right. Mm. Don't talk with it. I sometimes make that mistake, I start talking with it. Oh yeah, in the four herbs I take every day video, I even told you, no, actually I typed it. It's an email you're gonna get in the future. Why raw dogging is the, great, the greatest benefit in all the possible ways you can take an herb. Raw dogging is the best. And I mentioned the mucus and how the mucus membranes and the saliva is the first process of digestion. So when your saliva, you know when you masticate, Chew something, your saliva starts the digestion process and the taste buds, you know, bitter or obviously this is quite bitter, bitter is better, and the different taste buds start the process in your stomach and your liver to produce the enzyme necessary to break down what you're chewing. It's unbelievable and this is the best because that's how the most mucus is going to come out when you raw dog. And it happens right away, man, right away. Anyway, that's Aphrodite. Now, one thing that I wanna say at the very end is this. Oh, let me turn this off. Oh, that's day 21. Okay. With, oh yeah, let me read all the ingredients, okay? So I was at Hormone Amplifying Blend. Dim, calcium d glucarate, polygonum cusp, cuspidatum, 
anti-aromatase complex, alpha-GPC, humanofort, immunolin, mucunapurients, arginine, growth hormone, maca, stinging nettle, fenugreek, long jack extract, protestosterone complex, vitamin D3, zinc, oh my god, it's like barely any vitamin D3, horrible, uh, zinc, magnesium, vitamin B6. Now, what's the problem with these? Okay, look at this. It's here, see if you can zoom in. L look how crazy this is. First of all, if you don't have zinc deficiencies, why would you take this? Why would you take extra zinc? Zinc is going to fight with other molecules in your blood system. To, it's going to literally compete. And if you put a lot of zinc in there, when you don't need zinc, then zinc is going to compete with other molecules that you need. So you don't want extra zinc. Same thing with magnesium. What if you don't have a deficiency? B6, what if I don't have a deficiency? Why do I have to take this? D3, like, do they know that I'm deficient in all these things? How can I take all this stuff? It's crazy. Okay, first of all, I'm, I know a lot about herbs. And some of these I haven't even heard of. So God knows what they are. And I, I think I have an idea because a lot of them have the R and a TM on it, which means they made it like it's their own name. It's not something that comes from nature. It's like their own proprietary thing. Man. Anyway, <laughs> here's the problem with this testosterone supplement specifically. And I kind of know why that guy's abdomen was hurting when he was brought to the hospital after taking this. I think it's because this list of 32 things, I didn't see anything that's a cooling ingredient in there. And as you know, Afro D has not just hot, assertive, gangster ingredients. Gangster. Like for example, Tonkatali is a very hot ingredient. It's very assertive. It's for confidence, libido, it's for testosterone. But then we also have pearl powder, which is a cooling ingredient. It's a very cool ingredient. It improves circulation. It makes you grounded. It makes you balanced. So if you don't have that balance in an herbal formula, and remember, we're only using four ingredients, not 32. That's why we picked the best four. When you have the right balance in the herbs that you're using, then you will be able to sleep better at night, right? You won't get sleep disorders, sleep apnea and other disorders of sleep, insomnia and, and what, what not you will be, you won't have the jittery feel that you might get with caffeine because there's no caffeine, right? We have no adders, no fillers, you know, vegan friendly, paleo friendly, right? We have no preservatives, no, nothing, no sugar added. Like it's just four pure, purely extracted ingredients which make Afro-D and that's why it's so bitter. Ugh. I mean, now I don't feel it because I've taken it more than 15 months now, so I don't feel the bitter taste. I fucking love it now. I'm used to it, because bitter is better. And so, I just wanted to tell you about Afro-D as well. Go watch the four herbs I take every day video to learn more about Afro-D. I hope you enjoyed this video today about the safety or the lack thereof of testosterone booster supplements out there. The world is a bad place, man. Take care of yourself. I'm always here to help. Any questions you have, Post in the comments below. Let me know how I can improve. Give me feedback so we can do better and better for you. And um, I have a challenge for you in this video. The last video I made was about, was about fears. How to face your fears. It just came out last Tuesday, I hope. Should have already come out if our schedule is correct. And I gave you a challenge at the end of that video. So I'm giving you a challenge here too. Make a post on this Facebook group and tell us if you've ever encountered a supplement that hurt you. If someone gave you a tip on eating something, drinking something, could even be a drug, that completely fucked over your life. One of our, one of our group coaching guys from the 90 Day Transformation, Michael, he took this really harmful strain of magic mushrooms, which were not magic mushrooms, it was something else, that damaged his liver for life, and he, almost needed a liver transplant, which he didn't have, but his liver is fucking failed now, man. Like he's having a hard time digesting food, having a hard time staying fit, having a hard time not being obese. That guy's in trouble. And it's because he was given the wrong mushrooms and the wrong thing to put in his body. So that's your challenge. Tell us if you've ever taken something that harmed you 
and if someone was dishonest and did fraud to you. I would love to know, make a post about it, make a video about it, be vulnerable, express yourself. Take action, motherfucker. This is Dr. Testosterone. Love you, man. See you next time.